one, find the constant of integration for the following gradient function. So we know that y, when we do gradient, you become dy over dx. This one is differentiation. So when you integrate, you should get back your y. So this one is from dy over dx. To get y, you have to integrate. So we see a dy over dx is actually 4x minus 2. So y is actually integration of 4x minus 2 dx. So when you integrate this, you see here this one is indefinite. So you don't have this one or this one. So we need to add plus c at the back. So plus c for indefinite. So in this case, so 4x will become 4. We take out the constant. x is actually x power of 1, right? So 1 plus 1. And then you divide with power. So integration, first you add 1 to power. And then you divide with power. Add 1 to power. Divide with power. So add 1 to power. 1 plus 1, you get 2. So you divide with 2. Negative 2. So constant you will get x and then don't forget to add plus c. So 4 over 2 is 2x square minus 2x plus c. So this is a y and so this is after integration with c. So the question want you to find what is c. But we have the value here y and x. So we see here y is equal to 2x square minus 2x plus c. And we have x is negative 1, y is 7 you see. When y is 7, y is 7 when x is negative 1. So, if we substitute x and y, we can get c. So, y is 7. x is equal to negative 1. Negative 1 square minus 2, negative 1 plus c. So, 2 is equal to 2, 1. Negative 2 times negative 1 is plus 2 plus c. 7 is equal to 4 plus c. So, you bring this one to other side. So, 7 minus 4 is 3. C is equal to 3. So, this one, C is equal to 3. So, B, dy over dx is equal to negative 6x minus C over x cubed. Right? So, when you integrate this one, y is equal to integration of dy over dx or negative 6x minus 6 over x cubed dx. So, we know in integration, we don't want the power to be down, we bring it up. So, negative 6x minus 6x negative 3 dx. So, first we take out the constant. So, negative 6 and then x is actually x power of 1. So, this one is 1 plus 1 divide with power. And then the second one, the constant is negative 6. And then we add the this one, x. x the power with 1, negative 3 plus 1. So you get negative 2, right? And then you divide with the power. Power is negative 2. After you finish doing everything, you add plus c. Okay? So y is equal to negative 6 divided by 2. You get negative 3x square, right? So this one is okay minus, right? 6 divided by negative 2 is negative 3. So, x negative 3 plus 1, you get x negative 2 plus c. Right? So, this one you get negative 3x square plus 3x negative 2 plus c. So, you don't want the power to be negative here. So, negative 3x square plus 3 over x square plus c. See, I bring it down here. So, we see it's given that when y is equal to 6, when x is equal to negative 1. So, if this one is negative 1, this one is 6. See? So, here you can substitute. So, y is equal to 6. Negative 3, this one is negative 1 square plus 3. This one is negative 1 square plus c. You see, I just substitute y with 6 and x with negative 1. So, this one is negative 3... 1, 3 divided by 1 square, 1 square is 1 plus C, right? So, this one is actually, I hope this one fits here, 6 is actually negative 3 plus 3 plus C. 
negative 3 plus 3 is 0 so c is actually 6 so this one c is equal to 6 